Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the history of Boston's first subway. Called the Green Line. The Green Line didn't get its name until 1964, but we will get into that a bit later. There was a problem in Boston during the late 19th century. The streets were getting too crowded with people, horses, horse-drawn streetcars, electric streetcars. There was simply no room for people to move around. To add insult to injury, horses would get injured by moving electric streetcars. The smell of their poop would stink the area. Glad I wasn't there for that. Huh? So basically, there was just a, a big mess that nobody wanted. There were some plans to make an elevated railway in downtown Boston, but when people thought elevated, they thought steam driven trains that clog up the air with their smoke, the ash, and debris. People in the area knew what was happening in New York with their elevated railway that uses steam locomotives. However, there was a compromise to run trains underground between Boston, Park Street, Scully Square, and Haymarket, with elevated sections of street running cars past the Boston Street and Pleasant Street portal. The service first began on September 1st, 1897. People were skeptical at first because being underground is basically associated to being closer to the dead. Later on, the public grew to adjust to this new way of getting around without traffic. This project didn't come without its problems. One day during construction, there was an explosion that rocked the streets of Boston, probably caused by someone trying to split an item. Just kidding, that didn't actually happen. The splitting atom part I meant. But something did cause an explosion, but I do not know. This project was successful and inspired more lines to be built in Boston, like the Boston Red Line, the Blue Line, also known as the East Boston Tunnel. This was a streetcar tunnel network until 1924. The Orange Line had two sections, also known as the Main Line at the time the downtown section via Milken State, and the Atlantic branch. The Atlantic line was elevated while the summer and downtown Milk State and Devonshire Street sections were underground. This is to meet the requirements that there should be no elevated sections in the downtown area to prevent sky pollution or air pollution or whatever like makes the town looks less, less pretty like having big beams sticking out of the ground with trains rumbling over them while you can't see the sun for any reason. That's fun. Eventually, there will be several changes. The Pleasant Street portal will close, the line will be extended to Leechmere, and so many other things that will be happening west of Copley, which will be mentioned in a later video. This, however, will not be the end of traffic. The common thing to see in Boston during rush hour is the giant parking lot. The traffic is mostly at the standstill due to how congested it is. Credit to those for the photos I use in this video. I hope you guys found this video very interesting and very educational and informative. Please like and subscribe for more of these videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.